another nice vehicle here at the Mecham auction. 1971 Nova. This one's been modified a bit. It's got a 454 with a claimed 375 horse. Got some nice chrome SS wheels. They look really sharp on this car. 454 callouts. There's your big block with an Elbrock Performer RPM intake. Really clean presentation under the hood. Kind of looks like the factory should have made it. There's your typical Nova split bench interior, four speed shifter. Note on the steering wheel saying that the car's got to be in neutral to be able to start. Car's got some pretty nice paint on it. It's straight. All the trim is bright. I'm backed up against the wall here, so it's difficult to get the whole car. Let's see if we walk around the other side. Nobody ever said making these videos was easy. A nice car. Set up the rear suspension and get the car to hook. I bet you it runs pretty strong. This is a 1991 Corvette ZR1. Painted in competition yellow. Very rare color. Low production. Oh, let's see. If memory serves me correctly. It might, I don't know if it was 42 or 46 of these things were made. It doesn't say how many miles are on this one. But the this generation ZR1 is gaining traction in the collector car market. I don't think this one sold. It had a high bid of $25,000. Got red interior, strange color combination, but still a nice car for the time had monster tires in the back a wide body in the rear to accommodate those big meats this is a, a fine example of a 91 ZR1 here we have a 1978 Pontiac Trans Am it is not an SE edition your typical Smokey and the Bandit appearing type car. Got the big screaming chicken on the hood. What do we got here? 6.6, .6, which means it's a 400 inch Pontiac engine. It's not a T top car, it's an automatic transmission. Very clean interior. Pretty nice black paint on this car, snowflake wheels. For somebody that likes the body style and the appearance, black with all the gold striping. State straight Trans Am with a six liter automatic is a cheap way to get into the game rather than the high priced SE cars with sticks. This one had a high bid of $20,000 and it's still available. This is definitely a cool vehicle. It's a 2010 Camaro modified by Langenfelter. So it's got a Firebird with a Trans Am front end on it. So they modified the bumper and the headlight openings. But all the underpinnings are a 2010 Camaro. They made six of these in 2010. It's got 455 cubic inches, 655 horsepower. It's got a Lincoln Felter's version of the Screaming Chicken. Got a shaker hood. See the 455 call out. Car did not sell. Had a high bid of 52,000. So over here you can see some of the specs. One of six was a 2010 SEMA show car. Yeah, got some nice embroidery on the headrests. Changed the upholstery to give it that uh, the weave 
which some of the older Trans Ams had. Uh, but there's your Camaro dashboard. 655 horse. Definitely like to take this car for a ride. Old school wheels. Definitely a cool piece. Modified taillights here in the back. Change the spoiler. How many people want to just dump the clutch at 5,000 plus RPMs on this car and see what happens? Trans Am air extractors. Final look from the front. This thing's got to look pretty cool coming down the road in your rear view mirror. This is a very popular auction car. The number of these 1978 Corvettes that I, the pace car edition that I see at auction with very low miles is incredible. It's got to be one of the most popular cars that were purchased, never driven, stored, and now pop up, pop up at auction. This particular example has 48 miles on it. I've seen them as low as six miles. And it's amazing to look at a virgin untouched car and you see the quality of build for this model year and compare it to something new and the difference is incredible. You could not put this car side by side with a C7 and have any expectation that the build quality is the same. This one's got paperwork. Little tight quarters here. Hard to get a, a really good shot. That's what the interior looked like, brand new. Nineteen seventy eight mirrored T tops. It's an L88 engine car with 48 miles. It'll hit the block later on today.